sports, drugs, and entertainment. In your, in your opinion, what makes a good basketball team? Camaraderie. Being on the same, being on the same page. You know, you know the game, the game is played at a hundred miles an hour, so you got to know how to think at that that speed. Which one of your best basketball memories? If you could pick one, I know there may be a lot. We spoke about it a little something earlier when it was, you know, like I said, I used to get my ass handed to me. You know, me and my boys, we walked away from Glenfield Park to get ourselves together. So we played at Nishawane. I played at Canterbury or Slid to Sobble Park in East Orange, New Jersey. But when we got played, when we, when we, when we finished that, when we finished that, you know, you had, you know, it was time to come. We thought we was ready for Glenfield Park. Hmm. What sets basketball apart from other sports? I can't, I can't say, I can't say in, any sport is set apart different from and makes basketball different because you know it, it's all the same concept. If you're gonna, be, if you're gonna be good at whatever sport you play. You know, you, you, you got to be on point, you know. It, it, I mean, to me, it's all the same thing because the moral of the story is a team and, you know, whatever sport you play. Should there be age limits on players in the NBA? Should they be forced to retire at a certain age? If you can play, nobody can make you do that. Hmm. What do you love most about playing basketball? You know, again, you know, the being a team. You know, what I mean, it, 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 we didn't, we didn't go play. Me and my boys, we didn't go play basketball two times a week, and I wouldn't hear from you but one time a week. No, we was friends. We played ball together. We got dropped off home and picked up together in, in the morning and when it's time to play again. So how did the crack era change the game of basketball? How did it change the sport? Usage. Like uh, I'll speak I'll speak specifically for myself. I used to sell cocaine. Never knew what it was to use it until somebody hit me to it one day. From there, it was the beginning of the end. So what year was this? You were introduced to this, roughly. So for me, 85, 85, 86. So this is powder cocaine, right? This is not the crack era yet. No, this is, this is the crack era. You know, some people used to sell, you know, powder. Some people sold the rock itself. But, you know, you always you ended up doing it one way or the other. How common was it for the basketball players during that time to be using drugs, cracks, cocaine, etc.? How common was that? In, in, in some people' cases, it, it was a must they do it. But rather, it was a must they do it? How common that was it that they were doing it? Very common. Very common. So the majority of the basketball team, half of it, give us the percentages. Give us the... Put it this way, I, if there was 12 people on the team that I played for, I guarantee you seven to eight of us used drugs one way, dealt with drugs one way or another, whether it was alcohol, you know, and so forth. How common was it for basketball players to be selling drugs during that era? Because just like using and selling was common too, how common was that? How did selling drugs interact with the game of basketball? You know, it, 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 like I said, it all went together. So just take your, you know, just take yourself. If you just happen to sell weed, you know, there's a party going on down the street. Yeah, he's probably gonna want some weed. You know what I mean? So you will go down there, and, you know, get it to him. So it was very common that it affected. Very, very common. Very common. Very common. Okay, um, have you ever indulged in any drugs, recreational, yes, and what so what drug, what was your drug of choice, and 
what was the era and how did it affect you as far as basketball? Crack cocaine. And what year was this? Uh, like I said, it started up in about 86. And how did that affect your game, what you playing basketball? Did it, did it enhance it? Did it hurt it? How did that work? It didn't, it, it didn't hurt it, and it didn't help it neither. But, you know, it, it, was, just, it was just part of it. It, 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 was, it was as common as being in a layup line before a game. So with you using crack cocaine, you were still able to go play ball and be regular. It didn't affect you to the point where you didn't play ball. It didn't unmotivate you or nothing. I, I, I actually never used crack cocaine before it was time for a game. But, you know, afterwards, you, you know, it was on. How did drinking affect you playing basketball? If you were drinking at the time and what were you drinking? I was drinking at the time, and I was drinking beer, but I was drinking beer. Maybe a little tiny bit of liquor, but never really too much drank liquor. But it never it never bothered me because I didn't do that before a game either. Once everything was over, well, sky's the limit. Mm. So overall, how do you think crack cocaine and alcohol affected the game of basketball on the local level in the park and on the pro level, any other level. How do you think drugs change the game, in your opinion? Because it changed the person that was playing that game on the local level or the pro level. It changed.